is Sydney and Darren. And today we are going to Disney's Animal Kingdom. Today we have a fast pass for Disney's Pan um, Flight of Passage at Pandora. It's some. It's a fast pass that you normally don't get. Every day. It's very very hard to get. And then we are riding Safari with, and it's going to be very very fun. So we are headed there right now, and we will see you when we get into the park. Since we did get here around 8:40, it's not very busy right now. So we're going to be parked close to the front. So, yep. We have now made it into the park. It's it's busy. There's no other way to get around that. And no animals are out right now. It's really it's warm. And we are about to head over to Pandora for our fast pass. In the front of the Riverside Depot, they have restocked these Starbucks mugs. So they have these, Animal Kingdom. Then they have these. It's like a tumbler. And it has all of the the park stuff on it. Oh, those are so cute. Wait, so first the Starbucks are $25 for both of those. And then they've got these new little Chippendale dinosaur things. Chipmunkosaurus. Chipmunkosaurus. Like, you can go meet them over in um, Dino Land. How much are they? They are $30 for them, those two. They're so cute. I saw they had a Donald one. Do they have a Donald one? Yeah, they have a Donald. They have this Donald, like you can meet him over also in Dino Land, but it's his outfit. It's a for 22. It's a tiger. Raja from Aladdin. Cool. But it's like one of those long tail things. Yeah. Like, like that one and that. And yeah. In that one. And the Cheshire. What else do they have in here? I'm gonna go They've got all these new things. It's like, I'm looking for my once upon a time. They're like door things that you hang outside your hotel room, but it's for your house. And I've seen a lot of these around and they are for going for $7 and they have different prints. Yes. Oh, this is so cute. It's the foods. Like, you know how I have these? They have these in food and they are there's no price, but it's 15 when you buy two, so they're actually $18 alone. They also have a Kevin plushie. I don't that, know why that her wings are so Yeah, and small. Kevin actually walks around the park. Okay. In our last vlog, you'll know that. But how much is this? Uh, Kevin. Can you find the price? Oh, $27 for Kevin. So if you're lucky enough, you can fuck Kevin before she has to go off to her next destination. So they have new Lion King things and one of the things... Instead of having an adult symbol, they have his father, Mufasa. They also have a tail. Like, Unlike, the, it's... They do have a selly tail version. Yeah. But... How much? Comment is, down below who do you think this is, Simba or Mufasa? Because honestly, I have no idea who's. It's probably Simba, is. but how much is it? Twenty-four, twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five. 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 Twenty-
and it's Tiffin's. It's over for lunch and dinner. The wait time for Pandora's Flight of Passage is around a two hour wait, but luckily we have a fast pass. this foot and face over. And it's now like a place for, for like an after That is a, really a standby queue. That's standby. We did this once. It's finished Pandora and it was really, really good. One problem was my glasses just kept falling off. So it was kind of hard to like manage and ride at the same time. So we're in the gift shop. Darren. Oh God. I forgot to mention that they also have an avatar version of the tails. They also have these, I guess they're new. They're, I guess they're RDA human robot, I don't know. Here in the Island Mercantile, they have a Disney's Animal Kingdom Windbreaker. It's a little cropped looking from a bar looks pretty short so um, the price for one of these is $50 now Darren what did you want to show me so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they're ostriches yes I know Sydney hates ostriches here in Island Mercantile they have the Toy Story 4 some of it of the toys and plushies right here. They have a mini Buzz Lightyear like Star Adventure playset. So it's just like the carnival from the movie. They also have the sheep Billy Goat and Grub, as you see here. This is like a new coffee mug. Yep. Glass so They have Ducky plushies. These plushies actually go for $20, but they also have a little press. Hello. Oh, you can hear that? Same thing over here. This compartment right here. But how much is this? This is twenty-five dollars. And here's Bunny. How much is Bunny? Um, twenty-six ninety-nine. They also have Bo, Bo Peep. Peep. She changed her dress. I wonder why. Bo Peep. They also have his that little that. I don't know what that is. Buzz Lightyear's pop-up spaceship. Or, yeah, and then they have Buzz Lightyear walking Buzz Lightyear down there. It actually walks. So there you go. There is some of the Toy Story collection right here. So now we are going to get on the safari. There. And now we're just waiting for our car. Nothing here. Let's see if we can see some animals. Hi, Hello. thank you. You're good. Now, uh, my name is Everett, and I'm going to be your safari driver, and I'm going to take you on a photo safari. So I hope you brought a camera. Now, if you are taking photographs, you got to remember, anything dropped off the truck stays off the truck. Because the animals, we can't get out and pick up cell phones or cameras or anything, so hold on extra tight to that stuff. And uh, if you haven't done it, take a look up above your heads. You'll see my animal spotting guides with pictures of some of the animals you might find. We have all those and more. Uh, if you brought any food, put it away. Uh, no open food, no eating or snacking. I weren't even discovered until 1901. That's just 100 years ago. It's the only known living relative of a giraffe. It's got a drab's head, a drab's tongue, but a horse's body and stripes like a zebra. That's a pregnant female. Look how fat she is in her belly there. She'd have a baby, O'Coffee. How cool is that? 
Oh. Now, I'd say she's here because of the watering hole, most likely. Animals and water go together, you know that. And everything needs a drink of water sooner or later. Some animals <laughs> a lot later than sooner, but everything needs water. So I'd say I get luck around watering holes at least half the time I drive on one. Like, uh, I see a kudu coming up on the right. It's up on top of that hill in the bushes. It's the same color as the trees and the dirt. So I'm lucky to see her standing up there. And you know how I know it's a girl? Because oh, uh, speaking of horns, there's a black rhino taking a nap right over there on the other side of that watering hole on the left. That's a good idea. That's a really good find because, you know, that's one of the rarest animals in the world. A lot of people I bring out here don't know there used to be hundreds of thousands of them. There are less than 3,000 left. And nothing in the world hunts them but humans. Their skin's over an inch thick, which makes them impervious to everything except our weapons. We're losing them faster than they can reproduce. If we don't stop that, they're going to disappear before we know it. That is a herd of bongo on the right. We call them the ghost of the forest. But I found them today. Ha <laughs> ha. We can't hide all of that. All right, there's animals out here. Yay. Um, let's head over towards the Safi River. Maybe I can find a hippopotamus or two. Out of the river there. They're cute, actually. Whereas big and stinky as they are. They're very stinky, smelly things, hippopotamuses. Yes. I like them anyway. <laughs> uh, look on the left, there's a whole bunch of them over here. Look at that. Now, you know, a, a, a group of hippos like that isn't called a herd, it's actually called a bloat. So we've got a bloat of hippos. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, we've got some pelicans here, which are kind of interesting too. Those are pinkbacks. The only pelican in the world that works together. The herd fish in the shallow water, that way they can all catch them, and that's pretty smart for a pelican. Hey, look at that. A couple more hippos at the end of the island right there. You know, I almost forgot, but we got to cross a bridge up here, too. Before we cross this bridge, I'm going to remind you guys once more to uh, stay fully seated. If you have children, I want you to supervise them. Make sure they're glued to those seats, because almost every time I cross this bridge, I find a couple hungry Nile crocodiles hanging around under. And today's no exception. If you look on the left-hand side of the truck, there's crocs down there, man. Lots of them today. You know, they grow to be 20 feet long. That's pretty big. 20 feet? Crushed bones with over 2,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. And they catch prey a lot bigger than you and me, like zebras, wildebeest, things like that. When they come down here and get a drink of water. And they're always hungry, too. That's right. You're looking at the greatest hunters in all of Africa. You know these little dogs? It's true. They, they start chasing stuff. They never stop till they actually catch it. Uh, they're critically endangered because of habitat loss, but rabies is wiping them out. The little guys don't get vaccinated against the virus like our dogs, so if one of them gets it, they all get it. They lose the whole, herd, the whole pack, and that's sad. Get that buzzard. Ah. You know, most people think lions are the greatest hunters, but it's actually those little dogs. That's kind of freaky. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> all right, save the antelope, the official symbol of our reserve right over there on the left. The only antelope here that does not run away from predators. They beat up those little dogs. <laughs> they fight lions and cheetahs and hyenas too. Sometimes they win and sometimes they don't. But you're one tough antelope, you take out a proud lion there. That's why they're the official symbol of our reserve. They're the fifth fastest mammal on the planet and they can probably jump right over top of my truck. And that's amazing for a tiny little antelope like that. But that's why they're called springbok. They're like made out of springs, those little guys. I think they're cute as can be. Yeah, they're full grown. They don't get big. All right, but wildebeest, they're not cute or pretty. <laughs> Ever see one up close? They're kind of funny looking animals. There. The flat faces. Little. Oh, there's a giraffe on the left of it. But you get a picture of a wildebeest. Wildebeest actually means wild beast. That word comes from the Dutch people that settled here in East Africa many years ago. You know, about a million and a half of those guys still cross the grass ends every year. Sounds like a lot, but it's not as many as there used to be. Uh, look at the, the palm trees on the right front. Can you see that cow there? Look at the horns on that thing. Looks like a long. Ant Coley cattle grow the largest horns of any animal in the world. I mean, those look big, right? Those are small. They have measured horns of that species of cow six feet long on each side of their head. And that's 12 feet of horn on a cow. People think they're the world's first cow because you can find pictures of them over 6,000 years old in ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics, which is a couple thousand years before the pyramids were built. That's how long those cows have been with humans. Alright, then we got a reticulated, or a, now this is a Maasai giraffe here. And there's actually a whole bunch of them. Look at all the baby giraffes. <gasps> oh, baby giraffes. Gotta call them babies, you can't call them little because they're never little. <laughs> Even when they're born, they're already 6 feet tall, 125 pounds, so they're baby giraffes, not little giraffes. 
You know, I bring a lot of people on safari, and not very many people know that there's nine different species of giraffes. Most people just think they're all the same, but there's nine different kinds. These are Maasai, named after the Maasai tribe. Uh, the word giraffe means something, comes from the Arabic language, it means graceful. Because they're very graceful animals, unless they bend over. <laughs> then they look awkward. Yeah. Alright, we got another watering hole up here we want to check. I told you back in the forest I get like around water. Now ele elephants I expect to find water. They drink 40 gallons of water every day. That's eight five gallon buckets. Now that's a baby elephant. It's probably about a maybe seven, maybe an eight year old right there, so that means there's a herd of females here somewhere. Females and babies congregate together, males hang up on ourselves. Now I tell you this, if that's a little boy, he will stay here with his mom until he's about 15 there years old. And then his mom will chase him away. But if it was a little girl elephant, she'll stay with her mother and the rest of the female elephants for the rest of her life. The only thing in the world stays with her parents longer than elephants are humans, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> that's a little baby. When it was born, probably weighed a little over 300 pounds. Any moms back there? That that female pretty good at that. Oh, that one's a little boy. Watch him throw that mud around on stuff, boy. They love it. Lots of animals like mud, dirt, stuff keeps the bugs off and protects them from the sun. Yeah. Hey, that's good stuff. <laughs> cool. Okay, let's see what else we can find. We'll be going, I know it because of the tallest when they go. The male stand five feet tall. A lot of people I bring out here know that they turn pink because they eat brine shrimp, but they don't know why, but I do, so I'll tell you. Brine shrimp contains beta carotene, everybody. That's vitamin A. That's what turns from English pink. Vitamin A. Make you pick it pretty. All right, we're going to take a chance now. See if we can find the other species of rhinoceros. We saw a black rhino in the forest. I find the white rhinos around here because they're, the big, they're kind of easy to find because they're the second largest mammal in Africa. You know, only elephants are bigger than white rhinos. There's a male out here standing seven foot tall. But I tell you this, just like black rhinos, white rhinos aren't safe anywhere in the world because of humans. They're not as aggressive as black rhinos, so I get closer to them, but they're still extremely dangerous. You probably don't know this, but listen to this. Uh, uh, oops, sorry, a herd of rhinos like that is called a, uh, a crash. And there's a reason for that. <laughs> they can only see 35 feet, but they can run 35 miles an hour. So they crash legs constantly, like my truck. That's another reason you can't stand up back there. Just sad there's so few of them left because of us and our greed. Hopefully they make a whole bunch of little baby rhinos because we have every little rhino we can get right now. I mean, they hear me talking. You can see it pointing the deer at me, right? See? Yep. It hears me. They smell us, Hi. but all they see is a big blur. Hi. Just sad or something. But I tell you what, he's doing exactly what I said to be doing. Sleeping. <laughs> you know, nine times out of ten, you get a picture lying during the daytime, they're sleeping. But there's always one time out of ten where they fool me. That's not very often. Oh, look above him to the left. There's a, li a lioness up there, too, I see. And she's sleeping, too. But he ain't a pretty kitty. He's a handsome fella. You know, he's a lot bigger than he looks. Probably weighs over 500 pounds. His front feet would actually be as big as your head. Yeah. Makes three lines. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's no telling how many is up there, but I count three of them right here. Those female lions probably. At the tree right there, well, just the left of it, there's a warthog laying right there by that fallen tree limb. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's got its back to us. Its head's on the left and its butt's on the right. It looks like a tree. It looks like a hairy rock, but that's a warthog. Everybody knows Poopa, but I love warthogs. Oh, and I know why the ostriches run around, because I see some eggs right up here in front of me, too. A lot of people never see an ostrich egg. They weigh three pounds each. It takes 24 chicken eggs to make one of those. But do you see the little brown guys behind the tree there? They're called Batabaka, and they're actually one of the rarest animals in the world. They've been extinct in the wild for over 100 years because humans over hunting those little guys. Uh, there was only 17 Batapak left in the whole world 100 years ago, everybody. Believe that? Because the humans over hunting them. The only reason they exist today is great. It's, uh, they were saved by, saved by a sheep farmer, <laughs> believe it or not. And I got nothing. It looks like our luck ran out. All right, but that's okay. We found more animals than I thought we was going to, without a doubt. Unfortunately, though, our ward is supposed to be just around the corner up here, so I gotta start heading back in that direction so I can get ready to drop you off. There are some apes over here. Let's 
So, we, even though we're not gonna ride Expedition Everest, we're, we're right at the entrance of Circa Zong. And here's the vista of the Himalayas. I am freezing cold. Normal. It's right here. They have this uh, thing, giant ant eater. It's actually out. It's back right there. Yeah, if you see that thing moving around, that's the ant eater. Yep. Out. I mean, you don't see the ant eater quite often, so. For watching today's video, make sure to like and subscribe, and um, make sure to check out our latest video. It's linked down in the description below, and we'll see you guys later. That's a wrap.